everybody it's t back here with another video the t on mpd and relationships family listen welcome to my new subscribers and to my tribe and family at large welcome back thank you all so much and thank you for sharing the content new family members thank you for subscribing to the channel welcome Y'all know we do our Thursday night live stream every Thursday night at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I would love to see you there, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? The goal of the day when we drop a video is 1.2K plus. Can you help your girl out if you rocks with your girl? Okay, hit that like button for me, okay? Let's help get this information spread throughout the algorithm. So let me jump into the topic of this video. I want to get right to it. So um, the narcissist basically will always basically destroy, ruin, whatever you want to call it. They'll always destroy or ruin these, you know, because it's all about them. Okay. How dare you think that it's never about the narcissist? It's always about the narcissist when you are in an addiction ship with them okay so here's the deal as people you know decent human beings especially you know those of us that were raised to be polite you know whatever you we don't generally operate in the ministry of exclusion and that is basically kind of how we live our lives right we don't generally generally operate in that our loved ones family friend toxic whatever um even if they're toxic what have you you still want to kind of basically include them in your celebrations whatever you're doing you know include them in the things that you have going on in life now, the problem with that is, here's the problem, is that when you have a selfish person, okay, you have a selfish person that is basically, um, I mean, you know, not really running the show, but want to run the show. Whenever you have a person like that in your circle and it always has to be about them, that's going to be synonymous across the board. It doesn't matter what is happening. It's going to always have to be about them. And that's just what a narcissist does. You see what I'm saying? That's who they are. Okay. Now, even the covert ones, people will be like, oh, well, you know, they always said that they don't want the attention and this and that and whatever. No, that is not the truth. They play that card because they want all of the attention. It's kind of like a reverse thing because narcissists are very backwards in the way that they think and they do things. They are not very smart people and I told y'all this before, but they are very, they are, they are highly manipulative, okay? But when you have a person, they gotta be the center of attention and you're like, oh well, they, you know, they always say they don't want the attention, they do. They want all of the attention. If you have a family member that is saying stuff like that, you'll notice, and if they're narcissistic, you'll notice that they take, they capitalize on times when the family comes together or in celebrations, and that's what I'm talking about. Celebrations, they capitalize on the attention that they want, and they focus on ruining and destroying whatever you're building, whatever you're celebrating. That's it. You know what I'm saying? That is. See, these birds, I'm going to tell y'all something. And I got to put this out here. Because you need to understand. If you are with a narcissist. If you have them in your family. You have to be able to operate in a... In, I mean, you, you can't... If you want to truly celebrate... If you want to truly have a great time in what you're doing and whatever, if you're going to be around these people, you have to become unbothered by their by their plans, their tactics, you know, their schemes or whatever. Because I'm telling you, every time you put together something, they are going to ruin your celebrations. 
They are going to ruin and destroy the times that you're supposed to be is celebrating, excited, happy, whatever it is. They're going to always make it about them. I'm going to tell you how they do it. So you decide to have something on the menu that they don't like. Okay? Let's just put it like that. You decide to have something on the menu that they don't really care for. Um, And they tell you, well, could you do this and could you do that? No, I can't. I want these three items i want beef i want chicken and i want salmon on the menu well the narcissist might be saying well i'm a pescatarian or, or i mean not a pescatarian but a, a, a vegan yeah i'm just using this as, as an example so why can't you have vegan or what okay well just tell them that you don't want meat on your plate but because you're not offering that as a option, they're going to tell you, oh, you're just selfish. You're just, why would you do that? I mean, it's, but it's your event. You're paying for everything. This clown, this bird right here has not dropped one dime on this event, on this celebration. Not one. Okay. But they got the nerve to part their lips and sit up and say, well, why don't you do this and why don't you do that? I mean, come on. This is what they do. This is how they do this. And then, you know, you go to a, you, like if you're playing a holiday, okay? Any type of holiday, you are going to find that you're going to, first of all, the narcissist is going to be upset with you because you're doing it. But this is how they plan to get in. Oh, well, did you, excuse me. Oh, well, did you need any help? You know, did you want, could I help you do something? Is there something that I can help you do for this or that? You know, I don't mind helping. Okay, that's what they'll do. I want y'all to really hear me. Only for you, if you buy into that, when you get to the place where you're going to ask them, Okay, well, you said that you wanted to help with this and that and the other. Well, you know what? I just got to thinking about it. And, you know, I don't want to help. And, you know, and this is and, and this is also what I think about this. I think you ought to do it like this. And I think you ought to do it like that. And, you know, I just don't have the time. Or I don't, you know, I just, yeah, I, I think that you need to change this whole thing around. And, if, and basically what they get around to, it, this is what they're hinting to. Basically, if you cannot do it the entire way that they want you to do it, then they're going to suggest that you cancel. Yes! I mean, I said it. They are the most, I mean, just demonic. Just demonic. Take all of the joy. Take all of the, uh, the excitement out, out of planning your celebration. Having a great time. Can, and, and it's somewhat stressful when you're planning events like this, especially weddings. Only for them, when you say, when they offered the help, now when you come back and say, okay, well, can you do X, Y, and Z? That's the perfect opportunity for them to make it all about them. For them to put their two cents in about why they're not going to help after they said they did. Because narcissists love to do that. And then not only that, but go ahead and tell you a thing or two about how they're go how you should change it and how you should actually do it their way. Or if you don't, then uh, you should cancel it. Nobody's going to want to do this and nobody's going to want to do that. Stop inviting these demons to your celebration. Stop including them in your joy, in your celebrations. You have to, I, if I can't, y'all hit that like button. I gotta put, you know what? I don't even know if I've ever really seen a video that talked about this in particular. Maybe there's some out there. But I gotta put it out there. Because, you know, the summer is coming. It's wedding season. The world is, is opening back up. You take your vacations, they go ruin your vacation. You celebrating your birthday, celebrating something fun on your uh, on your birthday. Y'all going out doing some wonderful things. That narcissist, I told y'all, they'll get sick. They'll purposely make themselves sick, have some type of accident or whatever. They'll do it on purpose to draw all of the attention away from uh, 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 away from the celebration and put it right back on them. 
This is what they do. They do it because they don't want you. They don't want you to be celebrated. They don't want you to be happy. That's the whole point and goal. And here we go trying to think that, oh, they're going to be different. They're not going to do this. And I just, I don't believe that. No, they are. They are because they're very selfish individuals. They, I'm telling you, these hell-minted frogs, they want you to be miserable. That's their whole mission and goal is to make you miserable. So when you're trying to plan special events, you're, I mean, even right, baby showers, uh, weddings, graduations, graduations are coming up too. Why don't you just, why, listen, don't do it to yourself, family. Don't do it to yourself. Don't allow these people to ruin it for you because in the name of, oh, I'm trying to be nice. No, it's time out for that. We are all adults and you can kindly respectfully tell them, listen, I didn't invite you because I didn't think that this would be your type of event or I, I mean, listen, tell them the truth. Like I would list you the last uh, uh, three, four events I invited you to, you were absolutely mis miserable. So I'm going to let you stay miserable right at your, uh, at, right at your uh, draw, uh, address that uh, houses hell meant to <laughs> Your address and houses hell minted frogs. I'm gonna let you stay right over there on your lily pad, okay? Or whatever you hopping on, a toad on a log or whatever. I don't care. But you stop, stop uh, sabotaging your own joy, your own celebrations, trying to include others because I don't want to. I don't want to participate in in the in the exclusion. First of all, or cancel anybody. This ain't cancel culture. This is being selective about who you want to invite to your events. Now that is, you don't have to do you. You don't have to. Don't invite anybody that's gonna that's gonna have that's on, that has the mentality that it's every it, it's all about them, and that's all you're gonna get from a narcissist. They are going to ruin it for you every single time. How many of y'all gonna testify in the comment section? Y'all gonna testify. How many times they have ruined uh, Christmas? How many times they've ruined your birthdays, a uh, holiday, Easter, whatever you celebrate? How many times have they ruined them? Trips and everything else. And you sitting up there thinking that, oh, this is gonna get better. It's not gonna get better. A narcissist wants it to always be all about them. They're not, if they don't want what's on the menu, then you don't even have to come. It's just that plain and simple. You know, I, but for me, I've gotten to the place where it, it just, you know, life is too short already to have people in your life that is not going to truly celebrate you. And a narcissist is just not gonna do that. Don't fool yourself. Stop trying to uh, change somebody that is only going to change you. They, gonna, they are going to ruin it for you every time. They are going to absolutely ruin your celebrations, your holidays, your whatever you got going. And, I, and, and I'm telling you if, you, if you think I'm kidding, do it again, invite them. I wouldn't recommend it. You're gonna see the same type of behavior because this is who they are. They can't give you what they don't have, family. They just can't. So I wanted to put this out here because there are a lot of uh, special events that are gonna be coming up. Spring, you know, graduations, uh, weddings and everything else along with all of the birthdays and things that you have, you might be getting ready to celebrate, but narcissists are gonna always ruin it for you. So don't do it to yourself. This is what they do on purpose. All right, family? So I love you all. You all take really good care of yourselves. And I will see you all on the next video. Okay, family? And I will see you all healed at the top. Shalom, family. Peace.